Porto is Portugal's second largest city, and its historical center was proclaimed a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. People are drawn here by its stunning architecture, delicious port wine, beautiful beaches, and Mediterranean climate. In this video, we're gonna take you on a city tour of Porto and some of its many wonders. We're standing at the base of the iconic bridge, Dom Luis I. This metal arch bridge was commissioned to be constructed in 1881, but wasn't finished until 1886. It spans across the river Douro, connecting the two cities of Villanova Gaia and Porto, giving the country its name, Portugal. Getting lost is okay. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you might just find exactly what you didn't know you were looking for. One. One fancy cocktail. In the sky. Two. Two pieces of lemon. Three. Three crying babies. Next to me. And after four drinks, it wouldn't serve me no more. One of the most beautiful views of the city center can be seen while riding the cable car over Villanova de Gaia down to the riverbank. It is a little pricey for the short ride, five euros one way or eight euros both ways, but we still think the ride is worth it. Oh, and they give you a free wine tasting with your ticket. Porto is probably most commonly and widely known for its dessert wine, port, which is exclusively grown here in the Douro Valley, right off the Douro River. The coast here is littered with vineyards and wine cellars that produce and store this semi-sweet dessert wine. After our wine tasting and my broken phone, we decided to check out some of the crazy cool street art hiding throughout the old city. We were lucky enough to finish our afternoon across the river with a little local entertainment. Our last day in Porto, we decided to take it easy and visit the contemporary art museum and gardens, Soralts, and one of the most iconic bookstores in the world, Livraria Lello.
Libreria Lello is consistently named one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. The writer of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, was inspired by Lello to create Flourish and Blots, the famous bookstore where Harry Potter buys his books. Because of this claim to fame, fans of this spectacular anthology make their pilgrimage here by the thousands, approximately four to 5,000 every single day. That is a lot of Potterheads. One of our favorite things about traveling is never knowing where you might end up. Our final evening in Porto found us at the Rally de Portugal. This infamous street rally began in 1967 and has been awarded the best rally in the world five times. may be considered one of the best rallies, but it has also been one of the most dangerous for spectators. Due to the lack of crowd control, many trackside crowds have been plunged into, resulting in tragedy. Over the years, safety has become priority and many lives have been saved. There's that smile. Three, two. Did I just almost get shit on? I think so. <laughs> oh, we gotta go. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it, do us a favor and hit that like button. If you think we may have missed anything, throw us a comment. Subscribe to our channel for more travel content and turn on notifications so you will know when we post our latest videos. And as always, don't forget to show the world your venture ability.